Yeah. Mr. Gotti, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for trial? Got me coming for us. Morning, Mr. Johnson. You ready for trial? Glad to be getting out. We got him talking. What language did he say?
I figured you'd get 24 hours and get the fuck out of here. That's two. Go ahead. This is Nikki Glasses Marangello, reputed underboss of the Bonanno family. Mark, a defendant in the Gotti trial. Get her out of the way. Good morning, Mr. Carrazzo. You ready for trial? Good morning, Judge Dickerson. That was uh, Judge uh, Eugene Nickerson, the presiding judge in the Gotti case. Which one? Which one, Bill? Blue, the light blue. Right there. Gotti, you ready for trial? Morning, Good morning. We're all good. Mr. Gotti, how do you feel? Not to say it all as you uh, start the uh, action. This is Ball this guy on the right. I want to get a question. You want the dark glasses? I want the dark glasses on the right. So right. Both lawyers. Give me a two shot and then coming on the top. Same name. Michael. Morning, Mr. Cutler. Good morning. Are you ready to read the real trial? Morning, Mr. Slotnick. Are you glad the media trial is over and the real trial is beginning? We're all thrilled to begin. We want to get this over with. The defendant's objective. How long do you get a fair trial? Uh, I think the trial will probably be six to eight weeks. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a fair trial. The evidence will mitigate con against conviction, and uh, we can finish it in six to eight weeks. There's John Carniglia on the left in the gray suit. He's a defendant in the Gotti trial. Morning, Mr. Carniglia. You ready for the real trial? I am right bed. In the uh, light-colored suit, this is Anthony Rampino, R-A-M-P-I-N-O, another uh, defendant in the Gotti trial. Come on, 
on, Robin. That's her. She's terrible. John Gotti, the reputed Gambino family godfather, wants to keep coming back to court in his black chauffeur-driven Mercedes. He does not want the handcuff and paddy wagon routine that'll ensue if the government revokes his bail. The bail revocation hearing for Gotti and four alleged underlings entered its second full day today. More of what defense lawyer Bruce Cutler called a regurgitation of old news, newspaper articles, and speculation. Gotti sat mostly in passive as law enforcement agents from the FBI, U.S. Attorney's Office, NYPD, and Manhattan DA's office talked of the deference other alleged mobsters began showing Gotti in the wake of Paul Castellano's violent death last December in front of Sparks Restaurant. One investigator said he over heard part of a Christmas Eve conversation between Gotti and the late Frank DeChico. Gotti saying, quote, they've got to come to me. When DeChico was killed by a Brooklyn car bomb, the law enforcement people said Gotti held court at his wake. All six witnesses today testified that John Gotti and his co-defendants are still involved in crime activity, even though they're out on bail. That, according to confidential informants. Gotti left court just a little while ago, looking a lot happier than when he came in. His freedom, though, is on the line next week.